Wow. You get served the papers. That's not when the divorce, the divorce happened two years ago. The papers are late. There is no warning. It just happens. Life just happens. You're one text away from having to get up and run out of service. Somebody could send you a note right now and you'd have to flee the room and get out of here as quick as you can. We're one phone call away from a bomb scare. We don't know what's going to happen from day to day. My God. That's how he opened up his... That's wow. how he opened up his, Right. So I know a lot of y'all may not have seen that, but that's how he opened up this, the sermon. It got you thinking about, yeah, you know what? Life is uncertain. We don't know, you know. So I wanted to talk about... I wanted this to be right out the gate, our first topic talking about the uncertainty of life. Mm -hmm. Wow. You see, and again, I, I really want to thank God for you because the way that God shows you these, the topics and then has you to um, dissect them and bring greater clarity, because again, as you were to share, most of us saw uh, what, what went viral on, on YouTube at the end of the service. But not right. knowing that, Tracy, we got to be careful what comes out of our mouths. Mm -hmm. We could be we could be writing futuristically our own um, destiny with those words that come out of our, our mouths. Matter of fact, just real quick, want to highlight this, right? Because in James chapter number four, listen to verse 13. Go to now. Go to now. You, uh, ye that say today or tomorrow, we will go mm -hmm. into such a city and continue their year buy and sell and get gain. verse 14 says whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow for your what is your life it is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time my god and then vanishes away sis i mean you were right there in that moment god showed you something and because of your heart for the people of god and what you god is leading you to share with us we're able to capture a moment, capture somebody else's scare, understand that once again, be careful what comes out of our mouth, because out of the mouth, again, uh, listen, flows, there, it's the abundant life is spoken. Words are abundantly spoken out of the heart flow the issues of life. But about out of that same heart and out of that mouth, man, when those words start speaking, they have an end to them. This is deep. Yeah. I'm glad that Bishop Jakes is, is okay. He... Um you know, seems to be on the men. And uh, I just, it just brought home for me how whatever it is we're supposed to be doing for God, we need to be doing it. There's a saying that I love. It says, if you knew you could not play tomorrow, how hard would you play today? Wow. Wow. If you knew that you couldn't play tomorrow, if you knew you couldn't speak tomorrow, if you knew that you'd be dead tomorrow, if you knew that you would lose your voice tomorrow, if you knew that your children would be, how hard would you love? How hard would you give? How hard would you try to be kinder? That's good. Man, that, that that's so sensitive and so sweet because with mama transitioning uh, last week, uh, we we can relate to that like you would not believe. And we would share with everybody, don't wait. Well, don't wait because that final kiss, that final touch, that final whisper, that final word, that that is one of the hardest things to really have to deal with when all is said and done. And that's, again, we're sharing with you. Now, Tracy, just as another example, had I known my hip was going to start bothering me, I would have played more basketball between in the, during the pandemic. Because <laughs> now you're coming up out of it. I can't use the same moves that I used to use. I got a problem with that. So that that's why this thing is hitting home, girl. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I do want to bring up, you know, my health scare that I had in August. It was like a mini stroke. Mini. But while it was happening, you know, I was thinking, oh, my God, there's so many things I, I want to do. I mean, if, what if I don't have control of my whole left side? I ain't going to be able to do them. Wow. And I still think about that today. It's like that, that thing just, I guess it, it, it has worked its way out in me pertaining to time and er, and having a sense of a greater sense of urgency about stuff because you really don't know. Yeah. 
just like the scripture says, the scripture that you talked about, James 4, 13, it says, don't say, we're going to go to New York tomorrow. We're going to make some money. We're going to go to Chicago. We're going to go to this concert. We're going to do this, do that. How dare you? You don't even know what is going to happen on tomorrow. What yeah, we're yeah. supposed to be saying is, if the Lord will, yes. and I live, Glory. People will say, God willing, and the creek don't rise. The creek don't have nothing to do with it. No. <laughs> you hear people say, God willing, and the creek don't rise. What? Wow. If wow. God willing, and I live, I will go to New York and see a yeah. play. If God willing, and I live. I say it all the time. After mm -hmm. I read that in the scripture, it shook me up. It's like, I, how, how dare you boast about what you're going to do tomorrow? Your life is a vapor. This, this is so good. I mean, and it's just so rich uh, because, again, that's why individuals, you know, they talk to you like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Really? Well, you know, if God wills, we'll get that done. But if he chooses not to, we're, we're good with that as well. And, mm -hmm. and daughter, I was so glad that after you had called us and you had shared that with us, uh, the incident that you went through, that, again, we we had to check up on you. I, we just blowing up your phone. I know you were like, man, would you stop calling me? And the answer was going to be then and as it is now. No. Because that's what family <laughs> does. That's no, family. I, I Do you mind if we that. just pray very quickly um, sure. for those who might have had health scares? Father, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus, we speak life, healing, blessings, favor, deliverance, wholeness, completeness into the lives of those who have had a health scare, mm -hmm. whose eyes now are open, whose ears are now open, eyes are open to what you would show them, ears are open to what you would have to say about taking care of themselves and ensuring that their houses are in order. The purpose behind this, this topic, number one, is because you want everybody healthy, spirit, soul, and body. You, beloved, above all things, I wish that your soul would prosper and be in health. And that is what you're saying, your body can prosper, your spirit can prosper, all of our being can prosper. Why? Because that is what you desire for us to be, healthy, whole, and complete the uh, uh, disciples of Jesus Christ. And for that, we thank you. So bless now, touch now, heal now. May they touch the hem of your garment and may your virtue flow into each and every one that will listen and or watch this broadcast. We declare and decree that by the stripes of Jesus, you are being healed and by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. And Father, we just thank you for these moments in time to receive the healing that can only come from you. For your name is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for the prayer, Pastor. Glory to God. To God be our, all girl, our girl Liz says, this ain't no dress rehearsal. And that is mm. so true. Ooh, we, don't get, we don't get to do a do-over. Wow. We don't, we don't get to do a day over. It's like, you know what? This day wow. didn't go out. Yeah, let me do it over. No. <laughs> mm. Oh, my God. 